The Dual Disc, one of the most popular anime devices brought to life in the form of a toy. Just about every Yu-Gi-Oh fan has either owned one or really wished they had at some point in their lives. I love the Dual Disc as a concept and really think that it's one of the best things to happen to the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, even though it really doesn't affect the actual gameplay all that much. First and foremost, it originates from the actual manga and anime that spawns all of the good Yu-Gi-Oh ideas. During the Duelist Kingdom arc, basically every duel had to take place in a specified arena where players could place their cards onto a board, that would then scan them and project the monsters onto a giant hologram field between the two. This was such a cool way of showing these duels and added the dramatic flair needed. Eventually, Kaiba began developing the Dual Disc, a portable version of the projection effects allowing these epic duels to take place anywhere. This version was literally just a disc, but finally Finally, during the Battle City arc, everything took off. The Dual Disc was refined into a wearable version that would allow duelists to, well, you know, battle in the city. And what a spiffy design, it was sleek yet had the edgy angular shapes that defined Yu-Gi-Oh while being completely functional. This is one thing that made Yu-Gi-Oh stand out from other conceptual card game anime. Card games are fun, but they need to be played at a table across from an opponent. Yu-Gi-Oh had already made these more exciting with the holograms, but fully leaning into the science fiction technology made the Dual Disc possible. Now there was no chance for the pacing or high stakes of an exciting duel to be ruined. Characters wouldn't need to go find an arena or fold out a table to settle their disputes, they were all wearing everything they needed right on their wrists. Also having them stand during these battles made everything look a lot cooler, it felt more engaging. And from here on out, dual discs became the norm for every anime series. While there would be various iterations on exactly how people would duel, the concept of getting away from the table remained. And even if it was drastically different, like motorcycles or hoverboards, characters still had a dual disc because that was just part of Yu-Gi-Oh now. From series to series, the designs can vary, but they all keep the basic layout and are recognizable. What I do love is the variation between characters. I mean, even in just the original series, we see differences depending on allegiance or even time period. Yu-Gi-Oh GX, while still being in the original continuity, is where where we really saw the individuality take off. They were really experimenting with the idea of creating all these different styles. And just like any popular anime at the time, there were tie-in toys. This is what most everybody will immediately think of when Dual Disc is mentioned. The original toy was really meant as just that, a toy. But I mean it was definitely compatible with the actual trading cards. I find the original US commercial so funny, you see a bunch of these kids running off to some abandoned warehouse to break out their Dual Discs and play against each other. They're using these replica cards that look like they do in the show, but for some reason we only see the backs of them. Like, they're just placing monsters in face down attack position. Except for at the very end when one kid brings out Exodia and, you know, just plays the head face up on the field. It's so cheesy, I love it. We would also get the Chaos Dual Disc, which has a commercial of two kids just rotating around each other with some anime footage spliced in. While the Dual Disc toys would continue into the GX era, 5Ds is where they basically slowed down. Yusei's Dual Disc was available in Japan, but in the US, anime merchandise shifted to the next popular thing. And of course, when these XO anime started leaning more into the complex Dual Disc, they just stopped. Though more recently, Bandai would release a premium version of the original Dual Disc, which you might have seen and it looks insane. Apparently, it actually holds cards in their sleeves. And with the recent Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime rebuilding the Dual Disc as well as the Battlefield, they've started producing a physical toy version for that one, though only in Japan. Growing up, my friends were more into Yu-Gi-Oh! and I kind of didn't catch on until later. But they had one of the Dual Disc toys that they gave to me for some reason, and I thought it was so cool. But then for some other reason, I gave it back to them, and I kind of regret it now because I'm a weird nerd collector and they're just normal people. Though at this point in time, I do have my own Dual Disc because in 2021, there was a reproduction of the original toy which I snagged for myself as a Christmas present. Though it is a bit different in a few ways. For one, I think the plastic is thinner, which I'm not the biggest fan of in some areas. But it has all the basics you remember, a deck holder, graveyard, monster zones, slots for spell and trap cards. However, there is no field zone, which I suspect might have been a cost-cutting measure. The lights do function and there is a life point counter just like the original. The worst part is that with mine specifically, it's very sensitive when it locks into the inactive position. That is actually kind of disappointing. It is really finicky so I kind of can't even have it in the inactive position at all. It's not as good as the original in terms of quality, but for being widely available in modern times, I like it as a display piece. Or potentially a cosplay prop, actually more likely a video prop to be funny sometimes. 
Whenever somebody comes over, they're always excited to see it sitting on my shelf, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty cool. All in all, I think it's easy to see why the dual disc has been so important in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's an extremely recognizable piece of iconography that serves a functional purpose in the source material to help it stand out from contemporaries, while serving as the ultimate immersion for fans in real life. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Did you ever have one growing up, or is it a right that you reclaimed in your later years? Anyway, this is GatorX, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.